Hello my dear friends, welcome back to my another video right now. We are in Shillong. We are going to Smith. That's a village nearby Shillong city. This is uh, some of my friends. We are going towards that to witness the Nongram dance festival. So it is happening in the month of uh, November. Every year you can see this festival. The venue is Smith village. That is a cultural center of the Khasi Hills in Meghalaya. It is about 11 kilometers from, you know, Shillong city. That is Abhijit and another friend this is a you know upper shillong part this festival of nongram dance festival is celebrated during autumn at smith the cultural center of the khasi hills it's a five day long religious festival of the khasis ka pamblong nongram dance is popularly known as nongram dance now you can see we are heading towards that area this is the shillong area the roads are very good this is national highway number six which is going to Jawai and from there they can even go to Tripura see these are the you know riders these are the riders from Odisha riders from Kerala riders from Assam and uh, other parts of uh, you know state and other parts of our country you can see the traffic is very good over there now you can see the Meghalaya State Road Transport Corporation vehicle that is especially for Shillong development we are reaching that area now I will show you some of the photographs. These are the surroundings of the Nongring, Nongram festival area. You can see so many shops are there. These are our groups. So many shops. Uh, there are so many you know varieties of food items you can experience. And sugar cane, so many fruits and vegetables are also found. There are so many small small you know outing out, out, outs. You can see the sugar cane there and the pine trees are also so beautiful there are so many restaurants i mean temporary restaurants which are created by the people here you can even see you know the places we can sit and have different varieties of kasi dishes including pork this is belari and you can see many other uh, uh, you know uh, things you can even experience there these are the major fruit varieties which are very common here and also the whole area view is there this festival is also giving more importance to the local people they can even come here sell sell their products uh, agriculture products and whatever things they are making uh, see that they are enjoying the momos this is a traditional you know vehicle using for carrying water this is the momo you know utensil here they are making the momo it's a special variety of boiled as well as steamed food different varieties of you know the tuber crops and uh, Rabi and Bishwa and even our Kaushik is having the food sugarcane um, shops I mean the places where you can even buy sugar canes this is the entrance point we need to enter into that and while walking through the place I could observe even tapioca boiled one and he can see he is also buying the products and how beautiful that they kept the sugar cane in a beautiful way now after visiting these places we our plan is to enter into that before that we tried some of the you know variety kashi dishes from here kashi dishes and then uh, we will go inside the you know the festival place the location this is the bus known as smith bus it is a oldest bus in india itself you can see this is so beautiful this is a traditional kasi festival not the christians festival this is traditionally kasi religious festival you can see so many people like similar to all other festivals of the meghalaya mm -hmm. this nongram dance festival is performed to appease the powerful goddess kabli sinshar for a rich bumper harvest and prosperity of the people so you can see there are so many people so many kids the dance is so nice you please experience the dance so this is a, a located in smith village smith is a beautiful village <laughs> let me talk about the festival the rituals of nongram dance festival is something like this the sim mean the king of kiriam 
along with the high priest performs the pomblang ceremony pomblang means sacrificing some cock or goats it is known as pomblang ceremony he offers oblation to a lay shillong the god of shillong peak by sacrificing a cock an important part of the festival is pomblang or sacrifice of goats then offerings are made to the ancestor and ancestors of the ruling clan to this first uncle to the deity of shillong peak so this is the not uh, common thing you can see there are so many people here see that see the population here and this festival is happening here this is the headquarter of the seam or the skin as king and you can see that there is a uh, you know people who are dancing so the steps you can see that you observe the steps of the dance females males then small uh, kids are also dancing this is the king's you know residence the oldest traditional building these are the new buildings which they have constructed now you can see something they are carrying along with their hand and you can see so many photographers so many people from all over the world you will see in this festival this is also a type a type of a festival which is like uh, you know the hornbill festival of nagaland this festival is very common and people used to come here for enjoyment and you can even uh, you know find out different you know, khasi cuisines khasi traditional foods can also be very tasty uh, and nice yeah. nice <laughs> The religious part of the festival precedes dances in which unmarried girls in all their exotic costumes participate the men's dancing is naturally more vigorous and energetic they hold a sword in their right hand and usually a white yak hair whisk in their left so that is uh, what which we have seen is that that is you know yak white hair of yak whisk in their left hand keeping time to the changing beats of drums and playing of the tangmuri or pipes so this is all about this festival you can see people carrying different types of you know uh, a sword and that hair of the yak white hair of the yak see this so every year people used to come here to enjoy this festival the dance is the most important and highlighting thing you can see mostly unmarried women who are dancing and the, you see the energetic uh, men so uh, it was uh, some busy schedule for us so we are moving from here and uh, that was all about this festival and uh, some of the videos that we will show now you can enjoy the video and please like comment and share the videos with your friends so that everyone will get to know about the nongkram festival in the smith village of meghalaya <laughs> ഉണ്ടല്ലേ <laughs> 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 <laughs>